I don't even think I'm that good with the girls, to be completely honest. I'm good with drinking the alcohol, though. <laughs> Ach, komm, Jung, hä? Weiber. Pff. Wie heißt es doch so schön, hinter jedem erfolgreichen Mann steht eine erfolgreiche Brauerei. Wohlsein. Escape the Fate haben ein neues Album am Start und bei uns ist heute Sänger Craig. Hey Craig, up, today you don't wear your GoPro cam on your head, <laughs> yeah, but that's your new hobby I've just heard. I know, I know. I was just telling you about it. I played a, played a show, they gave us the GoPro and I played a show word on my head after the show. You just see me walking from the tour bus and then walking to the bar and eventually I forgot I had it on. So it just ends with me passed out mm -hmm. in my bunk. The video just falls into the pillow. <laughs> So taking shots as well into the camera? Yeah, taking shots, and then I noticed that the ceiling of the bar was a mirror, so I'm like waving to myself and stuff, just being, just being stupid. Did you use that material somehow for YouTube or your DVD? Not yet. I'm, I'm gonna use it though, because it's pretty funny. The new record, Ungrateful, it will come with a DVD in the limited edition, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, it will. It's gonna have um, our whole show that we played, The Roxy, that night down in uh, Los Angeles, California. Um, it's gonna have both the music videos that we filmed and a lot of behind the scenes kind mm -hmm. of stuff as well. Was it sort of a showcase with the new material or did you play old stuff? We played a lot of, we played some old stuff. We even played an old song that we don't even play anymore. And how about the lyrics? How important are they for you? Um, they're, they're pretty important when it comes down to it. And then on top of that, I, when I go in the studio, I really like to work with a lot of other people as well when it comes to certain songs. So for instance, I worked with uh, Patrick Stump from Fall Out Boy for our ballad, Picture Perfect. Did he sing on that song as well? Or no, He no, was no. just a yeah, co-author. Yeah. Just came by and, you know, sat down with us, really chill guy, really humble and, uh, you know, just kind of helped us put the song together. You know, mm -hmm. we, had, we had the music, I had some lyrics in the chorus, and he sat down and he came up with this great melody and, you know, went in there and sang it. And, I, you know, I love that song. It gives me chills still. It's about our guitarist's best friend dying. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's about something important. You know, it always mm -hmm. gives you that electrifying, yeah. chilling feeling, you know. And the lyrics are very personal in general. Mm -hmm. And many are kind of disappointed partly angry so are you that grumpy guy or is it just I, the mood when you <laughs> write the songs it sometimes is is the mood and it, it's a lot of things that i personally feel a lot of the time especially when i'm away from home you know the grass is always greener every time i'm home i want to be on the road every time i'm on the road i want to be home mm -hmm. but uh it, it's good to sing things like that because then when i go on stage and i'm singing it and I'm, i'm personal about it that's what people connect with and that's when people really are like you know the song touches them too because mm -hmm. A lot of us go through the, the same crap, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You still are kind of unlucky with your relationships, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I don't even think I'm that good with the girls, to be completely honest. I'm good with drinking the alcohol, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm good with. Some of the guys will be with me. It's like, yeah, man, they're grabbing, they're grabbing onto the girl's shoulders. I was like, I don't know what to say to this girl, man. <laughs> But I'll, yeah, another shot, please. And then by the end of the night... You didn't talk to anybody last night, man. My bad. So please tell our female viewers uh, what's the best way to pick you up. Um, I don't know. Just be a just be a normal person. You know, come up to me. I really like the real people. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I can spot a fake from a mile away. You had some drug issues in the band in the past, but I guess you sorted it out somehow. Or what's the situation somehow, right now? Um, well, the situation is I'm not a big stickler. I don't care what you do. If you're in my band, if you're my friend, if you're anybody, I don't care. You want to go out and drink? You want to do drugs? whatever like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna judge you everybody has their little thing but it just got to the point where you know our old guy that had the problem just could not function anymore he couldn't perform anymore he you know missing flights wouldn't show up for the show when MIA and that's when it starts really becoming a problem and we helped him out for over a year you know he went to rehab we paid for that canceled a tour I still love him like a brother you know don't get me wrong and I'm always gonna be here for him but It's just when, you know, business is business and you got to go out there and do your thing. You know, you can't let somebody drag your whole life down. And did the lineup changes have any influence on the band chemistry and on the uh, writing um, of the new songs? Yeah, it definitely, it definitely did. Um, you know, our, our rhythm guitarist now, who's our lead guitarist brother, he'd been playing on stage with us since I joined the band. So the camaraderie between them now is really cool. And TJ is like my long lost little brother. I mean... I couldn't be happier to have him in the band with me. And we always go out. He's like my drinking buddy. You know, we'll just go rage and burn the building down. You know, it's, it's fun. You got pretty cool band pictures. So how important is the outfit for you and the whole image? Um, it's, a, it's a pretty important thing. You know, it, it feels cool to, you know, you're a band. So you got to get up there and, and be a band. You're going up there, you're performing. So you want to, you know, you want to look larger than life.
Falls euch dieses Interview gefallen hat und ihr mehr sehen wollt, klickt einfach auf den Abo-Button. Jeden Dienstag und Freitag gehen neue Videos von uns online. Was wir heute von euch wissen wollen ist, da Craig ja so viel Pech mit Frauen hat, sollte sich die Band da nicht vielleicht in Escape the Date umbenennen? Wie gefällt euch Craigs Kauleiste? Und was bevorzugt ihr? Das andere Geschlecht, das gleiche Geschlecht oder Alkohol? Falls ihr CDs oder Shirts von Escape the Fate haben wollt, die gibt es natürlich bei EMP. Klickt einfach auf den Link unten in der Beschreibung. Bis zum nächsten Mal, sagen Markus und Jan.